Hey, it's Sleeper 800 back for another PBR battle. And here is the new team that I was talking about. Sorry, I had to move a little bit to keep more comfy. Chat Chatot, Weavile, Lucario, Gallade, Ambipom, and Miltank, who is a filler. So, the Chatot strategy, yeah, I stole it from the Insane Gamers. I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought it was a good strategy. But I'm not using a Furred, I'm using a Lucario, because I'm a noob. So, I think this team is pretty original. Except for Weavile. Weavile's kind of... Well, what? Nah, there's not much you can do with a Weavile. But the funny thing is, this Weavile's father is Ambipom. And that's another one of the Insane Gamer's favorite Pokemon, so that's kind of funny, too. So, and have you noticed that if you took away, like, Ambipom's big two tails, it looks like Tinky Winky from Teletubbies. I, I don't know why I thought of that, I just did. So, maybe I should name it that. And maybe I did already. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe. So anyway, here is for the win, because it's generation four. The win. Okay. So this is Shadot's move set. Nasty plot, hyper voice, heat wave, and chatter. So yeah, this is the insane gamers move set. I'm sorry. Again. And Lucario has Dark Pulse, Aura Sphere, Extreme Speed, and Follow Me. So I go for a follow me to let Chatot set up a nasty plot so it can actually start doing some damage. And this person has a very nice pack on their butt. Yeah. So Lucario goes for follow me. And the nice thing about follow me is it even goes in front of fake out. Which is exactly what this Kangaskhan uses. And then it squishes its baby and its baby dies and its line ends right there. Yay. And then the the Espeon's so sad because it's just like, oh no, your baby died. I feel I'm grieving for you. And then Chatot starts thinking nasty things about that crying Espeon, and its special attack rises. I just noticed the cursor is just like randomly sitting there. Okay. And then Espeon goes for protect, while I go for another follow me to protect Chatot for a little bit more. And the one problem with this strategy is Chatot's not as fast as I would like, so it gets outsped. But it doesn't really matter as much in this battle. So the Kangaskhan goes for Earthquake, and the baby hops on top of its head back to life somehow. But Lucario, which I was genuinely surprised about, survives. And that was pretty awesome. So Chatot goes for Hyper Voice on Kangaskhan. It does over half, which is nice. And then... Lucario goes for extreme speed just to break any focus sash that the Espeon might have. I don't know if it has one, probably not. And then Espeon goes for Psychic and gets a critical hit! Hacks! Hacks! You noob! I'm calling hacks! Noob! Yeah. And then Kangaskhan, for whatever reason, goes for low kick on something that weighs like zero pounds. Okay, more than zero, but yeah, it doesn't do very much, even to Chatot, whose defense is abysmal. So I take out both of them with Hyper Voice. Of course, one of the Espeon had a crit, but shh, just ignore it. And then the baby and the mommy die and go for some baby bonding time. Yeah, okay. And then here comes Ambipom. Ambipom is a technician user, so it has double hit, aerial ace, taunt, and fake out. I know it's not out yet, I'm just gonna say it. So, yeah. He, he does look like Tinky Winky, I'm just saying. So they send out a Heracross, and they're probably thinking, Yes, Heracross is a fighting type. Ambidom is a normal type. I win. And, yeah, they probably weren't thinking that, because they're probably a girl. Because their person is a girl. So. But anyway, I just forego the fake out, because I know Ambidom's gonna be faster, and go for Aerial Ace. Maybe I should have gone for Fake Out in case it has a Focus Sash, but I don't know anybody who puts a Focus Sash on a Heracross, because they're usually okay without him. And they also sent out Latios, and Latios likes to Thunderbolt, and it kills little Chatot, and Chatot's just like, No! Uh, I guess I won't be back for an Encore. Okay, Chatot probably has a higher voice than that, but still. Anyway, so Tinky Winky, Inky Stinky Finky, the purple Ambipom attacks the purple Heracross with... Aerial Ace and one shots it because it's quad weak to it, and with Technician, it's a 90 power Aerial Ace. So, yeah. And out comes Ambipom's daughter, Weavile, who is newbie. I, d I don't like Weavile that much, but I just decided to use it because I need a nice type. And 
I was going to use a physical frost last, which is pretty cool, but oh well, I just decided to use this. And it has a focus sash, I'm sorry, it it's just really frail. So, yeah. So, at this point, there's Eladios against Nice Type, and Bailey's just looking at me like, what are you talking about? You're going to lose. And so I go for Fake Out, just because I can. There's no reason not to. And I go for double hit. And this just proves how powerful Technician Ambipom is. Double hit nearly one-shots it after the fake out, which technically makes it not a one-shot. But who cares? And I've got my top hat. And they go for Roost because they like to stall, apparently. But nope, no stalling while Weavile's around. Because Weavile just jumps into the air and just goes, boom! Yeah, you're dead with Ice Punch. Um... Yeah. Anyway. So that's the battle. Comment, like, subscribe. Look at how Ambipom looks like Tinky Winky. And then and stare at Marilyn's bag. And at least she was a good sport and gave me her friend pass. So I was very happy about that. Because her team was more original than mine was. So, bye.